Trump's Meet the Press interview ignites boycott. Here's what he got wrong. Former President Donald Trump's appearance on national broadcasting companies Meet the Press incited social media outrage as progressives, liberals, and Democrats questioned his presence on the popular news program. The backlash, marked by thousands of angry messages, intensified with each clip released by national broadcasting company. Trump's interview was marked by a series of questionable statements. He inaccurately claimed that millions of illegal immigrants would enter the United States by year end, alleged a surge in terrorists crossing the southern border, and wrongly stated that the United States gave $85 billion worth of equipment to the Taliban during the Afghanistan withdrawal. He also made misleading claims about the sentencing of January 6 Capitol incident, repeated allegations of a rigged 2020 election, exaggerated the increase in food prices and inaccurately represented his tax cuts impact on revenue and the national debt. Trump also falsely accused Democrats of supporting infanticide, exaggerated the extent of the border wall built during his tenure, and inaccurately claimed media outlets, including National Broadcasting Company, ignored the Ukraine war. National Broadcasting Company ignored the Ukraine war. National Broadcasting Company News has extended an invitation to President Joe Biden for an interview. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us continue bringing you vital news summaries, like today's insight on the backlash to ex-President Trump's controversial claims on national broadcasting companies Meet the Press. Stay tuned for more, and don't forget to hit that like button.